we just picked up the van and now we are going to go pick up the last few things we need which is our amp and some black sheets and then we are going to try to pack all this into a rented Dodge Caravan and then go to Arlington, Texas for the Arlington Guitar Show. I'll not be in the van. Thomas will, and Eric will be in the van. I will not be. I will be full. At least the storage is kind of organized now. Much of my life is in these bins. Here's the stuff that you, you I wouldn't think you'd ever see, but yeah, this is like a bunch of extra stands and stuff. These are like a bunch of duplicate guitars or like stuff that needs a lot of repair that we haven't gotten around to. It's just kind of been moved over this pile. I'll, I will say, I acquired this over the summer. My favorite. Original collection SG Junior from uh, 2019. Got a uh, Mojitone Quiet Coil P90 in there and uh, sounds great. A music Man Reflex too. Shout out to uh, Against the Current on that one. We, this is not mine, this is Thomas's, but we acquired this at the last guitar show we did in Texas. When we go to these guitar shows, I like to bring amps like this. Obviously it's not super loud. You've got reverb and you've got gain, some way to get a distorted signal. You can pretty much get whatever you want. You get in the ballpark of, of what you want. It's actually, I don't know how much this, if this video is an accurate representation of it, but the amount of random gear that is just exists between the shop, conversation piece, Secret Keeper, um, all our friends' associated bands is crazy. It's, it's getting out of hand. We one day might need to do like a big garage sale or something and get rid of all the stuff that's uh, laying around. It's 8 p.m., but we're still shipping your packages out. Yep. Packages on the way. All right, so sixty-six dollars later, we have uh, four sheets. So, what do we start with? I guess the hard cases. They're buried under the soft cases. But we, wiki. We'll start there. It's all gonna disappear. So this is pretty tight, but this is actually nowhere near as bad as last time. I tried to reel it in for this one a little bit, and. Uh, we still have some room to grow. We actually have three fully functional seats. We didn't have that last time. I had to Uber places. Because <laughs> I had to divide it by 13 amp that took up my seat, which is more important than me. So. The guys are leaving tonight or in the morning, depending on the way you want to look at it. I think around 3, 4 a.m. I will be leaving on Thursday morning at a very stupid hour. I still have a midterm to take for one of my classes at school and some other uh, prior obligations. So I'll be doing that tomorrow and then at 6 a.m. I'll be on a plane to Dallas or DFW. We'll see you there. How's the drive been so far? Not too bad. Thankfully, you took the first half of it, so I got to sleep. What time did we start? Well, you started at 4. Yeah, like 4.30. Uh, it's 12.50, so it's, we're about eight and a half hours in. About halfway. About halfway, not too bad. We'll probably get there around, well, 9 p.m. Hopefully, maybe that's optimistic thinking, but we got a full tank, double full tank now. <laughs> Just uh, gonna keep on pushing through and we'll uh, be in Arlington, Texas tonight and get Alex tomorrow morning, maybe. There's, dude, there's still two more kinds of pillars. Oh, is that, that's not Keep him, going, uh, keep going. Okay, okay, sorry guy. What's up, Man. internet? <laughs> We've made it to Dallas, Texas. Well, well you know. Dallas. <laughs> I made it to Dallas, Texas. That was, was a flight? Um, I wanna be honest, uh, it was a racket. She was being a little ridiculous, so. <laughs> uh, that's one strike against Frontier, I'll tell you that. Uh, just one. How's your guys' experience been? Good. We slept. Yeah. Nice. So, can't complain. Got some good sleep? Yeah. yeah. How was the uh, hotel? Good. It's fine. Okay. No cowboy doors for the bathroom. It's quite interesting. I'm just trying to figure out like what the balance is of like what do you put out there, what do you not, what would somebody actually, you know, find entertaining. 
Because I always was like, it has to provide value in some way. I have to, you have to learn something from it. But I've kind of shifted my opinion. It's like, even if it's just something stupid that like no, it's is entertaining, the that's, that's just as valid. We just got to the eSports Stadium of Arlington. It's almost time to load in. We got about another half an hour and then we're gonna start getting the booth set up. The area is nice. Uh, I did a festival called the So What Festival a few months ago and it was literally here, like at the stadium. Uh, once we load in, this is dealer day one of two, so hopefully gonna do some deals with some of the other dealers. Um, hopefully sell some stuff, maybe trade around a little bit. I'm sure we'll start acquiring things today once we get inside. But it should be pretty chill day. Who do you have with you? Uh, I am the owner. I'm Alex. Then this is Thomas and Eric. Thomas and Eric. There yep. you go. We're glad to have you guys. Yes, thank you for having us. We're stoked to be here. There you go. Tomorrow um, yep. at 5 o'clock, we're having a pizza party out here for all the dealers. Oh, love it. Uh, music, drinks on the house. So, uh, oh, you guys are the best. free pizza. We will be Amazing. here. We look forward to it. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. something up here but yeah. how many people here have done a tour and actually loaded in for the venue <laughs> I was actually thinking about that I'm like they're probably roasting us for just not having a card we've had to do this so many times with so so much less <laughs> some good things. Yeah. Seeing a lot of cool stuff that I would love to buy for me that probably wouldn't make as much sense for the shop. But we're here for business, so I'm gonna try to stay away from buying too much personally, maybe one piece if I find something cool. The price right when I can do if you want to get a few of them. Cool man. Yeah. Thank you. So if you get a few yeah, it's gonna be within like 10%. I'm not trying to waste your time. It's all if good. there's no margin there, then no stress. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate right. you. Whoa, man. You littering over here, dude? What? You littering? That's not mine. I'm pretty, pretty sure it was up. mine. Yeah, you littering? No. Yeah. I was. <laughs> we we pulled it in a little bit. Last show we did, we brought like 30% more guitars. I try to just focus on the kind of the classic stuff that I think people are more so after. At least at these shows, obviously online, we do a lot of the more, what I find to be potentially more interesting stuff and brands you may not, might not always see, but at these shows, it's pretty much your Fender, Gibson, Taylor, maybe some Ibanez. Brought some Greco this time, we'll see how that does. Keeping it to the book. First score of the show. How to get the ball rolling. No one will be surprised. All original Epiphone Crestwood, natural. It's clean. Obviously, it's, you know, you know, it's made in Japan. That's why we're buying it. Late 70s, it's a cool piece. You will see it on the internet soon. Someone's got a, T, a PVT 15. Same person that had uh, the Crestwood. Used from 3.99, and theirs is natural. Here's a Sunburst example uh, for 4.50, but it's got the amp in the case, which that does too, which is what tempts me, but. If this is what they're selling for, and obviously we want to stay consistent with market, we can't we can't get close enough to make an offer that I feel is uh, in the ballpark. So I'm gonna pass on that. But did have a cool score here. But look what I've gotten myself into now. Let's count some money. In. All right, man. I'm gonna play guitar with you before it's all over. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Got the floral strap. Matches perfectly. We'll, we'll probably put that in there. Oh, yeah. If you want it before it hits the internet, you know how to get a hold of it. Except this will probably be listed before this goes in. That's probably true. At the pace I've been working at, you'll see this on the shop next year. 
Yes, that means there's a lot of stuff in back stock, so keep your eyes peeled. Not a sales pitch, just let me know. I don't trust these latches. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 86, maybe your eye, like placid blue. You know it's a nitro finish. I wouldn't be spending this kind of money for a while. Yeah. Replace pickups, uh, the clients, according to uh, him. We're gonna get pictures of that tomorrow. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but man, this is, uh, this finish is just, this is what you wanna see. It's checked beautifully. This is one of those guitars that uh, you keep it, it's gonna just age more and more over time and look even better. Day one complete. Uh, went pretty good. Uh, made one good sale. We sold the 1960 Music Master that you've seen on the channel, which is really cool. Went to a buyer in Europe, so I hope they enjoy. Bought a couple guitars, as you've already seen. Very stoked for those acquisitions. I think those are both, both go quick, so. Yeah, I'd say good day overall, and looking forward to tomorrow, and then getting the public in here on Saturday and Sunday. What's up? Come on in. <laughs> this is the spot. We've got a desk, got this phone with physical buttons, king size bed, we have a hat, identification, we have lights, we have one light on and we have one light off. Not so it illuminates these the right way. Then if you come over here, this is the kitchen. We are using one coffee cup between the three of us, as well as a second coffee cup, a third mirror, and then you have the fourth mirror. Whoa. That's the outside. You can see somebody out there has a cooler. And it looks just like the one that uh, my Aunt Kathy, Eric's mom, made us drag through the sand at the beach. If you know, you know. <laughs> this is a shower. You uh, you know these are impossible to use, and you're going to get nothing. That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you guys next time. Good night. It's very early. Not as early as yesterday. But it's time for day two, another dealer day. We're going to go get some breakfast, and then we are going to head over. Hopefully sell some more stuff. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll get a few more guitars. Hopefully we'll sell them. We'll see. Awake answer for uh, <laughs> the plan for today. Now that he had his bacon uh, and orange juice. Now that most of the dealers are set up, I think we'll have a better chance of finding a little bit more stuff. I'm happy with what we found yesterday, but we'll probably end up buying a few more. I definitely saw a lot of cool stuff yesterday. There's a lot of really good, like, kind of mainstay vintage pieces, a lot of great strats, a lot of great uh, Les Pauls, especially juniors and specials, which is kind of my personal taste. But a lot of it is, you know, super high-end vintage that's already at or above market, so there's not a lot of room for us to do anything for the shop. And then for me, I'm not really after any five-figure guitars right now, so I'm not seeing too, too much yet that I'm getting super aggressive on. I am kind of after a hardtail strap for myself, but I don't know if I'll find one. I haven't seen one yet. Maybe something will appear today. We'll see what they got. The overall impressions are uh, really cool stuff, but I will say compared to other shows, I'm seeing a little less opportunity, uh, both for the shop and for my own collecting site. Okay, here. I have something. Good morning, guys. Hello, how are you? Good. Not open yet. I just always assume it's filming. Oh, it is filming. Getting the macchiato. Proper macchiato. Proper macchiato. Revival. What's this place called? The coffee shop. We're at the coffee shop. Nice spread of pastries and vinyl records. It's a work of art. It takes a lot to put it. Just put your hair up in a bun, man. I'm finding cool stuff. I haven't bought anything yet. Look at this tally. Uh, you know me. Uh, this is my color. My, we're getting some ideas. We're, we're scheming. 66, 10,000, in the ballpark. That's me right there, hard tail strap. For myself, self indulgently. But I'm trying to get to some kind of 335.
I have the uh, the Fujigen the Japan kind of clone, which is great, but it'd be cool to get a proper Gibson one. It's from, uh, I think this would be the second run of them, made in Japan, not crafted. No price. So I can't comment on that. We may be having a conversation about this one. This could be cool for the shop. I need to, I don't know that those are original for that yet. It looks a bit modified. I haven't had a 350, I've only had a 250s and I've had two of those, so. That's uh, I'll take the pick so I don't forget. Oh, yes. Look at this. This is Thomas Philbrick's signature guitar. It is, it is my signature guitar. Oh, you're a king. It's my signature guitar. Um, we did okay selling, but man, I bought some good stuff. So it was, it was a good show for uh, for buying. I'm hoping to do the inverse. Okay. Look at that. This is very on brand. One of the other deals to tell you is I think these are from one of the Xbox or PlayStation guitars, and not the Wii ones because they 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 feel a certain way. So, you know, it's the the 2006 uh, buttons. Do you mind if I uh, take a look at the strap? Yeah, 2016, so this would be like one of the later American specials. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why I was like, there's no way this is... Oh my god, do you want to take this out? Sure. This is very on brand for our shop. We do a lot of Japan stuff, so that's one of the things we there. I mean, it's just Japan. This is a ring. Fresh find number three. Oh, <laughs> Honda base. <laughs> Dealers for today, the secret. Options. You can't put this on the video. Uh, we have to <laughs> <laughs> He's like... It feels really good. It's very unique. It really, yeah. Fresh find number four. Picked up this uh, Tascam Porta Studio. This is one of the mini ones. It's a Mark II. I'm going to end the recording on tape on a budget. This is probably the easiest way to do it. I feel good. I'm excited for the public to be here, to get some players in here, and I think we'll uh, hopefully move some guitars. And yeah, hopefully buy some, because usually they kind of come through with stuff they're trying to sell, and the stuff we look for, a lot of other dealers are going to pass on, so I think uh, we can find some cool, unique stuff. How do you feel about today? Not great. Good day, but business-wise, we didn't do too much in either direction. No crazy moves, uh, but still a good day nonetheless. May have a deal on R8. We will see how the rest of the weekend does, though. I just feel like it was a little slow today, but yeah, it was a it was it was a day. It was a day. It's a day. Tomorrow will be more fun and uh, just have more stuff going on in general. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Today is public day one, so we're going to be seeing some people who are not dealers today. I'm sure we'll also see more dealers that are just coming to the show to buy that didn't do like the VIP pass or anything, uh, who haven't been here the last two days. So we're going to meet a lot of new people today. It's supposed to be crazy, crazy busy, so... Let's see what happens. First thing, first things first. Uh, there's been a '58 reissue Les Paul Custom Shop um, R8 that I would like to go pick up from another dealer. So first thing when I get there, I want to go over and grab that. I'm a man of my word. Oh, dude, is this the actual Squire Avril Teller? Yeah, it might be. We'll have to come check that out. In a I'm on my way to buy another guitar. By you, I'm gonna get distracted real quick. What's uh, what we got going on? Here? Sure, man. No, no, no. You're, you're, you're good. Sorry, I know you're still set up. I kind of got a price for cheap already. This is a gem. No, it's it's a it's a career. That's why I asked. Now we're good. I'll take it. Okay. Let me. Uh, I don't, I'm gonna I find something else to bundle room. in. But what's I got a box or something. <laughs> Honestly, I got cases. I'll okay, stress on it. Cool, man. I appreciate I'm you. I'll, I'll be back going to field it. I, I, I'm still taking stuff out. I don't think my guy's here. He's not here. 
You're gonna keep putting stuff up. I'm gonna keep coming back and. Uh, All right, man. Well, I'll, I'll keep putting it out. Got <laughs> right. the uh, got the gold sparkle Tommen TC420. I got plenty other stuff. And you know, I, I you know, we got the Avril Levine telly. We had to do it to him. <laughs> your non-flash flood cases. Yeah. Take off your lanyard, and at 10 o'clock, you just start walking around like you're a, like you're one of the public people. And then people will be like, guitar. Yeah, people will be like, oh, what do you got on? What, what are you selling? What are you selling? Oh, dude, oh, dude. Next Fresh Fun. I don't even know what number we're on now. Uh, Gibson R8 Custom Shop. Let's pull a reissue. Very thick neck. A little thick for me, but I mean, it's the one. The aging on this thing is like gorgeous. It's an awesome shape and it's it's faded and just worn in and like all the right ways. Frets are still in great shape. It's a, uh, be like a, a big neck. This could be you. I think we've done more in the buying wise in the last hour of just this morning than the whole first half of the show. I'd say we're off to a good start. I knew I wasn't gonna hit that. <laughs> stuff that you're selling. I thought it was a Is that something you're selling? Yeah, it's an iPad. What, uh, what are you for? AS 90. What, uh, is it one of the Japan ones? Or is it Gibson B45 12 string. Super cool. Not mint at all, but great guitar and it sounds really great too. Absolutely gorgeous. Another fresh find. Ibanez, Ibanez Art Core. Nice blue burst finish. A little bit of flame going on. And uh, it's a cool one. I, today I learned this is one of the only years that didn't have a pick guard, so it's not missing the pick guard as I thought. Gibson Les Paul standard, absolutely gorgeous honey burst, but the best part, it's not just any standard. This is one of the chambered ones, and it's a great example of that. This thing is insane, it's really light. It's got all the paperwork, all the fun stuff. We even got the pick guard, even though I probably wouldn't put it back on, but uh, it's got it all. It's a really great piece. Nothing too crazy here, but we got a. Uh, We've replaced the Squire that used to be there with. We got a Schecter Hellraiser, some EMGs. This one's a hardtail, it's a nice shape. And then we got another Schecter Hellraiser, but this one was a Floyd Rose. This was actually, I have this exact guitar at home. This was one of the first guitars I ever bought, so a little nostalgic. So today was way better than yesterday. So obviously it's public day one, so a lot more people coming in that weren't necessarily dealers or were dealers that just didn't have a booth. And we did a lot more business today, sold a bunch of guitars, bought I think a few more than sold. Very excited with the new finds. Got a couple of really great Les Pauls, so I'm very stoked about that. Well, there was a bunch of other cool stuff, so we have a lot of work to do when we get back to the shop. But it'll all be worth it. When I first met you, baby, well, I didn't know what I was doing. Now we are all tied up, and my life is ruined. I'm scared of that. 
Cha-cha. Today is day four of the guitar show. Public day two. It is the last day of the show. So hopefully some cool stuff happens. I don't know what's going to happen today. Hopefully it's as good as yesterday because yesterday was great. Have we bought anything yet? Today? No. Not anything yet. We sold anything. Also, no. We've also been here for about 15 minutes. <laughs> Fresh find number, I have no idea. We got a PRS SE Custom 22. Yeah. Super cool finish. I think this is called Sapphire Blue. It's very green, but this is, that's what the internet's telling me. Really fun guitar. Nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing super rare or anything, but... Great player. Please. An exceptional piece. Oh, it's all Aria yeah, Prep yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much? My watch. Yeah. <laughs> and it was from some guys that I like working with over there. No there. breaks. All right, we got the Aria Pro 2 ZZ Standard. Got the crazy <laughs> art going on. You know, it's far from mint. It's got a, a lot of cosmetic stuff going on. It's had some repairs, but it's a cool guitar. And it'll, it'll do that 80s Japanese thing for not a lot of money, so. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you this. If anyone uh, has anything cool, buy it at your discretion. <laughs> Very last minute fresh find. Got the uh, Gibson Les Paul Special Double Cut. This is the same kind of guitar the new uh, Rick Beato one is based on, and this one's obviously cherry, not yellow, but super great player, and I keep saying that about all of these. We got the Squire John 5, which has been very modified. We got a Kaler on here and some replaced pickups, as well as a kill switch, old matching headstock, super cool guitar, very unique guitar. Also, it's got a lacquer neck, but the headstock is more like satin, so I'm not sure if that was kind of added later, but... Cool piece nonetheless. We've got a pair here of player series, Telecaster and Stratocaster, and this cool blue burst. Matching set. Yes. Lots of fun. Loadout time. Load, well, load out. They won't, they won't open us at 5 o'clock, so yeah, we gotta wait. We're, well, we're getting prepped. Hopefully, we find a cart this time. I feel like we won't, but. Oh, yeah, we won't. Stay tuned. Another fresh find. Got a guild base. I think it's vintage from the 70s. The exact model is eluding me right now, so I'm not going to say the wrong thing, but really cool base. Color is fantastic on this one. It's in really nice shape. And we got the original hard case, so all good vibes here. You know, not everything big right We did, mainly today. I mean, it's all right. He said it is all So let's just carry this I'll tell you, we got every last guitar we could. Big shout out to Thomas and Eric for all the help with this and making all this happen. Um, I'm sure we'll, we'll reconvene on that too when we get actually back to the shop, but hope you guys enjoy all the stuff that we picked up. We literally got every last thing we could. So you guys will be seeing us soon on the site and on Instagram and on everything else.